Um, a lot of people uh, couldn't live out here in this environment, mainly because of the quietness. Uh, you might say, that might sound a bit funny, but um, you know people are frightened of quiet. This video is going to run uh, a little bit differently. It's going to be more of a, a story than gear or camera talk really, more about the place I visited and the photos I was able to capture. Recently I had the opportunity through work uh, to travel to a place which is so vastly different to anything I'd experienced before. It was a place they call the Big Sky Country, the Hay Plains. I work in the Australian TV and film industry. Uh, the project that I was working on there I can't talk about, uh, but I was there for about seven days, two of those days being travel and five of those days being work. The Hay Plains is this super desolate flat area uh, located in New South Wales. It's actually the perfect stopover point if you're traveling between Sydney and Adelaide directly. Uh, it's about 720 kilometres from Sydney and about a seven and a half hour drive. Driving out there, uh, you kind of go through the Wagga region and it's sort of these rolling hills. But once you go beyond, it just suddenly drifts off into nothingness. All there is is just this big long stretch of tarmac road in front of you and this mirage of oncoming traffic, which is like 50 kilometres away or as far as the eye can see. It's really quite mesmerizing and it was so different to anything I had experienced before. not a completely barren place. It's actually built up of a lot of enormous properties uh, that manage and sell cattle. And then in the middle of the Hay Plains is this place of oasis, the town of Hay. Those big riders of big hulking trucks and vehicles that travel between Adelaide and Sydney can stop at Hay, spend a night at one of the many uh, motels and then get a feed at one of the local pubs uh, down on Lachlan Street. Um, and they can just take their foot off the accelerator and just rest for a night. So this place definitely had a calmness to it and it's where I spent all my nights um, staying in one of the motels there. Uh, the Nicholas Royal Hotel. 
So I had about seven days total in the Hay Plains and two of those days were driving to and from and five of those days were spent working. Uh, we work 11 hours plus uh, on most days in the film industry. So I knew I was gonna have very limited time uh, to create you know, a project or a video, but I was super determined to get as much as I could. I knew coming to this place that I wanted to capture it because it was gonna be a landscape I'd never experienced before. Before and after work, I would get up extra early or I would drive a different direction and I would just try and capture whatever I could. And I was really stoked with what I was able to get uh, with the limited time in between my shifts. So with that, the two cameras that I brought along are my Pentax 6x7 uh, with some Portra 160 loaded into it. And then I also brought along my new favorite point and shoot, the Canon Z135 uh, with some Portra 400 loaded into it. The Pentax 6x7 was great uh, for moments where I had enough time. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get 36 perfectly composed shots, but with this, I could get at least 10 and there were just for moments where I just had a bit more time. Uh, I ran it with the 105 2.4 lens. Uh, here's a few of my favorite shots from the Pentax 6x7 on that trip. Uh, my favorite of the shots is this one of the commercial hotel. I just love the bright tones at the top and the darker tones in the balcony and then also the two utes uh, off to the right hand side that kind of give a bit of that hay plains character to the shot. So the other camera that I brought, uh, the Canon Z135, I brought along because I can shoot it without having to fiddle around with uh, settings and shutter speeds, aperture and I don't have to compose the shot as much. I can just look through the tiny viewfinder, take the shot and I know it'll be spontaneous but it'll look sharp and it'll look good. I've put a few rolls through this camera previously so I knew it could get the job done and uh, I was quite happy with uh, the, how the photos came out. Some of my particular favorites are this one of this big silo on the way into Hay Plains. And then also this other photo of these old burnt out trees uh, being scorched by the sunset. Uh, it was just a nice composition. So overall, I was really quite impressed with the photos I was able to capture with such limited time uh, in between work. Really. The photos I've got are also special because I don't know if I'll ever return to the Hay Plains again. I don't know if work will ever lead me there or if I'll ever directly travel between Sydney and Adelaide in that route. But if I did return there, I would like to photograph differently. Not just capture landscapes and not just capture beauty, but capture the rawness of the place and document it. Look at the people, the practices, how it feels to be in that environment not just what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking. You know what, wherever you are, have a good day, have a good night, and uh, go shoot whatever the bloody hell you want. All right, get out of here, get, get out of here.
Nothing, Andy.